from the Kalahari manganese fields, northern cape of South Africa. In this case, from the vessel's mine, we have uh, little bands of sudralite running through this matrix. Uh, pretty medium grade manganese ore, of course, infiltrated with these little traces of the sudralite. What I love about this is on the cross section, the brecciation running right through. So, this is how the, the, uh, the, the formation, the geological formation, would have been in layers. I don't know if that's, I think that's sedimentary in, in geological terms. I never studied geology, but uh, makes sense. There are different layers happened and then different mineralization under different layers. So now let's first of all start in this phase. I actually wonder, is this perhaps from the Channing 2 mine? But let's, uh, this came together with a lot of material from vessels, but this could be from Channing 2. So there might be micro crystallization happening here. Maybe some crystallization running through there. Uh, I think it would be sacrilege to use this as faceting rough, but uh, I think it could be used perhaps to have a more patterned effect. Um, let's go across like this. There we see a little bit of a blue section there, of course, would come off the cross section over here, so it would be a runner running facing out that way. All the way from South Africa, from the Kalahari manganese field, sugilated matrix. Love this, this, this clear indication of the formation happening from this deposit.